there are three primary lead acid battery technologies in common use, wet cell, AGM and gel cell. And there are three primary applications they are used for, SLI engine starting, deep cycle and standby. Within each technology, there are varying levels of sophistication in construction, allowing particular brands and batteries to deliver different performance and life characteristics. Wet cell batteries are the most widely used in most applications, as they are generally less expensive than either AGM or gel cells. But wet cells do not provide the same cycle life or convenience. They also generally require active customer maintenance. Within the wet cell technology, manufacturers have constantly attempted to improve customer satisfaction by developing maintenance-free types. These batteries use calcium to reduce battery gassing as well as to improve CCA performance and a silver additive to enhance battery performance and durability in high temperature and more severe service applications. This development has been a particular feature of the latest offerings from many of the world's leading battery manufacturers with their SLI start light ignition or engine starting batteries. Calcium silver construction generally means the battery offers better performance and life compared to other designs. Calcium technology successfully reduces gassing so that the battery becomes largely maintenance free, yet it also has the effect of increasing plate degradation in heavy cyclic use. Therefore, it is not a common feature of batteries designed to withstand the damaging effects of continual deep discharge and recharge. This trade-off results in a shortened service life and therefore, with wet cell deep cycle batteries, it is necessary to use traditional top-up batteries with antimony mixture, heavy thick plates and fiberglass reinforcement etc. AGM or sealed valve regulated batteries are one of the two so-called dry cell lead acid battery technologies that are coming into increasing use across all applications. They use a special absorbed electrolyte technology that is generally superior to wet cell technology batteries when constructed by leading quality manufacturers. Fine, highly porous microfiber separators absorb the electrolyte, which holds electrolyte more evenly against the plate surface and provides an increase in efficiency by lowering the internal resistance while increasing capacity. Lower internal resistance means the battery can also be recharged faster than a wet cell battery, ensuring a speedier return to service. The battery gases are contained internally under recharge with the gases recombining within the battery to ensure no external venting or fumes. Quality AGMs use high quality safety pressure release valves to provide protection in the event of severe and protracted overcharge. And it is the quality of these valves that is one of the differentiating features between good and bad AGMs. Within AGM technology batteries, there are versions designed for starting, versions for cycling, while others are designed for stationary standby applications. As is also the case with wet cell technology, it is also important to understand the differences so that the correct battery can be sold. The easiest correct way to determine whether an AGM is suited to starting or cycling use is to read the manufacturer's specifications. Otherwise, the following points can help determine which to choose. Number one, the type of case. Commonly ABS resin cases are used in standby batteries, while polypropylene cases are used in batteries designed for heavy vibration, high impact, or high temperature applications in cars, trucks, and boats. Number two, current limitations when charging. Batteries designed for standby applications primarily have restrictions to between 20 to 30% of the 20 amp hour capacity rating on the battery. Number three, ratings to industry standard. Accurate and confirmed CCA ratings and true cyclic amp hour ratings, which conform to the industry standard. Only the best AGM batteries are really going to perform in the field when it counts, so it is important to know the differences. Gel cell technology is the original dry cell battery technology developed in Europe over 50 years ago. In simplistic terms, a gel electrolyte simply replaces the liquid electrolyte. This provides a truly spill-proof and maintenance-free long-life deep cycle battery that is also capable of delivering ample cranking capacity for quick, sure starting. As with AGM, 
there are discernible differences between gel batteries designed for starting and cycling use in all applications, or gel batteries that are required for standby usage. Similar questions used to determine design purpose that are asked of AGM batteries are relevant to gel cells. More critically, gel cell batteries are generally recognised in heavy cyclic applications such as wheelchairs and mobility aids, as they are easily the longest lasting deep cycle battery type. However, how the battery is made is a vital part of how the battery performs over repetitive discharge recharge situations. The quality of the gel formula, the consistency of the gel mix and the filling process all determine the reliability and lifespan. The formation process of the plates, the purity of the lead and the quality and consistency of the intercell welds all play part in how well the gel battery performs.